Well, hi, uh, my name is Ann Minoff, and uh, we're about to start a week-long half-hour session of Spring Forest Qigong. And for those who are new to Qigong, Qigong is thousands of years old. Okay, so hi, once again, my name is Ann Minoff, and I am a instructor. I've been teaching Spring Forest Qigong for uh, since 2008, and I am will be leading you this week in a half an hour of practice. So Qigong is thousands of years old, and we are really blessed to be able to receive this wisdom in a way that enhances our health and well-being, and then affects everyone around us. When I uh, host this, I always like to focus on something in particular that I myself and work is wor uh, am working on. But before I start, I just want to have two announcements. One, um, I am teaching this Saturday the new and improved activate uh, Qi Activation Level 1 course. And you can uh, access that registration on the website if you go down to the bottom for live events or go to my website, qigongbright.com, and the access is there. Also, I teach three free uh, Zoom classes during the week on the five element and exercises, and you're welcome to join me there. Good. So this week, I'm focusing on qi cultivation. Master Lin said somewhere that Qi cultivation only happens when your awareness is inside. When you're focused outside of yourself, doing things, getting ready for something, you're using your Qi. You're not cultivating your Qi. In the exercises we do, you focus on the movements of the body and the mind and body come in sync and you start cultivating Qi as well as activating it. This week, I'd like to introduce you to the next level of um, qi cultivation, where you bring your awareness more deeply inside by focusing on those powerful qi centers that control and support all the qi activities in your body. We will focus today on the lower dantian, tomorrow, the middle dantian, Wednesday, the bottom of your feet, believe it or not. Thursday, the breath, and we'll go back to the lower Dantian on Friday. The lower Dantian, Master Lin has said, is the most important chi center for healing. It's your chi factory. It's your uh, life force place, a foundation of your life force. And when your lower Dantian is fully activated, your body is able to access the life blueprint that will naturally heal all damaged tissue. So we, you've noticed that at the end of every practice, you bring your awareness back to your lower Dantian. Well, we're gonna focus now on practicing, bringing your awareness inside and activating your lower Dantian through your focus. So for a few minutes now, uh, make sure you're in a relaxed position where your spine is supported. Please place your awareness on your beautiful breath. The inhalation and exhalation, your breath can become your very best friend for internal refinement. Just listen to your breath. And now gently, Bring your awareness to your lower dantian, which is three inches behind the navel. If you want, you're, for ladies, you can put your right hand on your navel. It might help. And for the gentleman, left hand on your navel. The dantian, which means a field, tian means field, and dan means medicine pill. So place your awareness gently, move it down the spine if that helps to that space, two to three inches behind the navel. And now very softly, as you breathe, imagine that you're breathing 
directly into that space, into that field of chi. What you're doing is you're knocking on the door energetically saying, hi, I'm here. Let's connect. As you focus on the lower Dantian consistently, you build a relationship between your awareness and the lower Dantian and you will begin to feel a response, a beautiful response. For each one of you, it will be a little different. So when I focus on the lower Dantian, even now as I'm speaking to you, there's a gentle warmth that begins to move and I feel it. And that's from the relationship of continually focusing consistently from time to time on my lower Dantian. And what's happening is I'm activating that vitality code. 85% is in that lower Dantian. And when you learn to focus inside and on it, you're shining a light and activating not just chi cultivation, but this powerful chi center, which will benefit you in many ways. Now, that you're focused on the lower Dantian, visualize a candle shining inside and see if you can feel the light of that candle, the warmth of that light shining inside, cultivating chi and activating the vitality code in that lower Dantian. This practice is a healing practice, and it's something you can do any time during the day. Keep breathing directly into your lower Dantian, and if you can, you gently bring that lower abdomen in just a little as you inhale and release it gently as you exhale. The lower Dantian can be your very best friend in returning your system to balance on every level, physically, mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. Take one more breath in and a slow exhalation out. See if you can throughout this practice, stay with your awareness on the lower Dantian just a little. Staying on the lower Dantian, we will begin today, which is Monday's practice. So I'm gonna move over so you can see me stand. And focusing on the lower, so you keep a sliver of awareness right there, deep behind your navel as we begin what I call a happy movement, which is bouncing. So bouncing is getting ready all the chi channels opening. So your feet are hip width apart, parallel, focusing on your knees, and you're just bouncing up and down. Notice your elbows, your wrists are loops. This is a waking up kind of movement. And I usually play music. I like to go right away with the hands above the head because it opens the front of the body, the back of the body, the sides. Master Lin has said, if you bounce within an hour of waking up with your hands above the head, within five to 10 minutes, you may live to 100. Well, actually, he said you will live to 100. <laughs> so as soon as I have the hands above my head and I'm bouncing, I can feel the opening. And even here, as I'm aware of the bottom of my feet pressing into the floor, the looseness of my wrists, I'm still keeping a sliver of awareness on my best friend, the lower Dantian. So usually I sing a song, but we don't have time and I decided to change it up. <laughs> but if you join me in one of my classes, I sing the song, five feet two. Okay, bounce, bounce, softly opening up, waking everybody inside, all the chi. You're kind of stretching it out. Everybody's taking a deep breath and gently we're gonna end this as you bring your hands down side to side. So the exercise that we're focusing on today is the moving of yin-yang. One of my all-time favorites. 
In the beginning, I did the moving of yin yang every day for six years for at least a half an hour. So the moving of yin yang, right hand in front of the heart, fingers stretch slightly, opening without touching, left hand in front of the navel, fingers stretched, open. And as you breathe in, just feel that. Please focus your awareness, your spotlight on the center of the palm. Relax your shoulders. We're going to, um, for a moment, I realized that I wanted to do the breathing. So for a moment, relax your shoulders. And together, we'll say the password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Now let's call down our support team. Master Lin has designated himself as our tech support. So please visualize if you want Master Lin on a white fluffy cow coming down with a smile on his face, standing beside you. And then I always invite that being I pray to by whatever name and in invite that presence and ask for their support. So let's have a moment to state what is the purpose of taking this class today? What would you like to achieve? All my pain is gone. Um, all my blockages are dissolved. Short and sweet, you plug something into the Qi GPS system. And then you let it go, knowing that your support team will support you achieving this. Now, for a moment, with your feet pressing, your toes slightly pressing into the floor, visualize you're standing on the earth, looking out at the starry expanse. And as you inhale, you are absorbing that pure universal chi through every, through the surface of your body, gently bringing your lower dantian in, collecting that chi, yes, gently bringing your lower abdomen in, collecting that chi in the lower dantian. And as you exhale, you're releasing uh, everything you no longer need in the form of smoke out to the ends of time or the ends of the universe. Take a moment before we start our exercise. Relax your shoulders. Gently touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Have a sweet inner smile that invites the connection between you and the universe. Inhale that pure light, that pure love. Absorb it through the surface of your body as you draw your lower abdomen in, collecting that light in your lower dantian. And exhale, visualizing smoke, releasing through your body out to the ends of the universe. As you hear the sound of your inhalation, feel the light coming in filling you up with the strength and power of that brilliance. One more breath in and a slow exhalation out. So good. And now the moving of yin yang. Gently bring your focus to the palm. Relax your shoulders. See if you can feel a little tingling in the palm of your hands. Staying focused on that palm as well as a sliver of awareness on your lower dantian. The right hand comes out, up and out slowly as the left hand comes in and up. Move slow enough so you can keep a kinesthetic awareness of the center of your palm. There will be a tingling or a pressure or a feeling of something moving in the center of your palm. That tingling in the palm indicates that chi activation has started. As you continue the exercise, 
You'll feel the tingling in every finger. The hand is and fingers are directly connected to the heart and brain and indirectly connected to many of the internal organs. As you feel the tingling in the fingers and palm, it indicates the chi is waking up. You're cultivating the chi and activating it at the same time in all the body. Slow, slow, slow. Please visualize a beautiful but transparent column of light in the center of the body, starting at the bottom of the torso, wrapping around the spinal column to the top of the head. It can be any color. Sometimes I actually visualize it as a beautiful rainbow. As you move your hands up and down, you are activating this column of light inside. Remember, the more you feel, the more deeply you're activating the chi. The more your awareness is comfortable and deep inside, the more you're activating that chi power, that healing power within. See if you can feel, do you feel tingling in both hands? The wood element of this exercise is the liver system, your 24 hour self-cleaning service. The masters of Qigong found that stress and the issues of anger acidify the liver, begin to weaken it. But the positive vibration of laughter, of lightheartedness, or, or the state of being happy, help the liver reboot. Just like focusing on your lower dantian recharges that. So now, as you slowly move your hands up and down, visualize that with each inhalation, you are surrounded by the radiant state of happy, of being happy. And the color associated is bright Kelly green, one of my all time favorites. So now with each inhalation, visualize you're absorbing the brilliant green light of the state of happiness. In Qigong, we absorb the states of being through the surface of our body. It's as if you were sitting next to the happy Buddha and you absorb the state of that happy energy. With each inhalation, visualize you are filling up with the brilliant green light of happy energy, of laughter from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Let the light of laughter recharge and balance your liver system. Now, if you are someone who recently has found that it is hard to access laughter or be happy, then you would benefit through the practice of forgiveness. And by forgiving, you there will naturally make room to take in this laughter and happy energy. Move even just a little bit more slowly. Focus inside. Bring the spotlight of your awareness inside even more and ask yourself, where is the chi moving in my body now? Focus on the lower dantian. Do you feel that? Relax your shoulders.
Keep pressing your toes into the ground. And with a smile, invite an even more deep, a deeper connection between your chi field and the universal chi field. It is the dance that Qigong brings. And eventually you just delight in the experience of the connection, in the movement of the chi inside, of the warmth inside, activating. With a smile, feel inside. Let the light, let the light of laughter shine in every part of you. The green light of happy energy filling you up. We're gonna bring this to a close, so gently take your moment, time to bring your end to this cycle, both hands in front of the navel without touching. For ladies, left hand outside, right in. For gentlemen, right hand outside, left in. Yes. Move your awareness to your lower dantian. The field of dawn. Shine the light of your awareness on that so essential and most important chi center inside your chi universe. Take a moment to stay focused there. And then visualize the light as a brilliant sun spinning, 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 getting smaller and smaller, even smaller, until it's the size of a vitamin that you tuck deep behind the navel. Take a deep breath in and a small and an exhalation out. Another deep breath in and an exhalation out. And now um, we'll do some uh, uh, let you interlace your fingers, <laughs> place your hands on your belly, and rotate your hands nine circles. Staying focused on the lower dantian as you rotate your hands. This is also a longevity Taoist exercise, though the monks would rotate the hands 300 times. But once you connect to the lower Dantian, you can do any one of these ways of focusing and activating that center with your hands rotating like this, or just by focusing it with your awareness. The point is recharging it to full, till it's at its full power. It really works as your energy power place. And now at the end of that, we'll do some, <clears throat> rub your palms together till you feel the chi warmth. And gently bring your hands to your face, massage your face, bringing the hands up the bridge of the nose to the hairline and coming down the cheeks. And 
Now gently take your fingertips and as you sweep them through your hair, visualize that you're releasing beautiful transparent light from your fingertips into your skull. even though it messes up the hair. And now tapping, gently curve your hand. And as you tap, starting at the hairline, going across the top of the head, down the back to the base of the occiput, visualize you're releasing beautiful light into your right and left brain. You feel the tapping and visualize the light releasing from the palms into the brain. Very good. Now massage the ears and even here, as you massage each little crevice, visualize you're releasing beautiful transparent light from your fingertips. And now we'll do the tapping. So this is a way harvesting where we retract our chi field. We expanded it out during the exercise and now we wanna bring it back inside. So on the left side, we tap from the top of the shoulder down the inside of the arm to the wrist, turn your arm around and then tap from the shoulder down the outside. And even here, visualize that as you feel the tapping, you're releasing beautiful transparent light from your palm directly into all the channels along the inside and outside of your arm. And now we'll go to the right side. Tap, 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 light, light, light. It's called the dual. So as you retract your field and bring everything back inside, you're also releasing light directly into your channels. And now tapping under the left armpit down to the waist. And yes, releasing light from your palm into your body all the way to the other side. And can you see which color you might be releasing? And now the right. Tap, 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 light, light, light. And down the front. And again. From the palm, the palm is directly connected. The center of the palm is directly connected to your heart. Everything from the heart is a gift. And now lean forward and with an open fist, gently tap the buttocks. If you can, visualize at the bottom of the spine is the tailbone. Five little, little, little vertebral segments from the time when I guess we had more. Visualize that tailbone lighting up with each tap. This is such a good way to cult, to build that kidney chi, especially in the winter time. When I'm walking around, I'm always tapping a little bit like this. And see if you can tap and maybe feel that lighting up of the tailbone at the same time. So that's you know, a little challenge. And the hips. Finally tapping. Now I never tap directly on the patella or the kneecap, just the chiropractic background. <laughs> tapping just above it. Tapping directly behind it. Tapping both sides of the left knee. And tapping both sides of the right knee. Now, one more time. Either standing or taking your seats. The lower Dantian is your vitality center. As we finish, just gently bring your breath down 
and focus, bring your awareness. If it helps, see it coming down the spine, focusing on that lower dantian, three inches behind the navel. Light it up with the power of your awareness and intention. The storage of your life force. This is a gift you can give yourself as you build a relationship between you, your awareness, and the strongest chi center inside your inner universe. That's the goal. Thank you so much for being a part of my Monday session. I will see you all tomorrow and we will work on the middle Dantian. But your practice today is to connect with the lower Dantian. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.